Good morning. I wonder what you've given up for this season of Lent. Are you grappling like me as someone with a sweet tooth, with a temptation of anything sweet, like chocolate? If we do succeed, who knows, we may have shed a few pounds round the waist and find some extra ones in our pockets as a result. Most of us see Lent as being about giving something up, like Jesus spending 40 days fasting in the desert, and we are encouraged to consider some kind of sacrifice. Yet Lent is about much more. For Christians, it is a time of reflection on who we are before the Lord. When Jesus was led into the desert, he went with the powerful words, You are my beloved Son, ringing in his ears, words spoken over him as he stood in the waters of baptism. They affirmed who he was. Before he had done anything, he heard that he was deeply loved by his Father. They provided the foundation for his life, especially from that moment on, in living out the overwhelming, reckless, never-ending love of God, in seeing lives transformed as he encountered people, and in having the strength to resist other destructive forces and voices. I wonder how many of us have heard such words spoken over us. What are the words that resonate in our ears? This year I am challenged to think about who I am, who I want to be. This is because of the witness of someone close, namely my father-in-law Dennis, a retired priest, if there is such a thing, who died recently. His last words spoken over us as a family continue to resonate, for they were of this blessing. The Lord bless us and keep us. Make his face to shine on us and be gracious to us. Look kindly on us and give us peace. Life hadn't always been easy for him, yet wherever he went he sought to bless people. For the words Jesus heard were also true for him. You are my beloved child. His life was rooted in this identity as someone blessed by the gracious love of God who could not help but offer the same to others. So who do we want to be? What difference do we want to make in life? Will it be as someone who blesses, because those words, you are my beloved child, ring in our ears also? Whoever we are, Jesus invites us to stand where he does, to hear and know these words for ourselves so we also can be the people who bless.